everybody welcome back to the channel brick house here and um there's a big story swirling around the 2024 olympics today and that story is regarding what's going on in, in female boxing in fact this is from outkick.com Olympic boxer pretending to be, quote unquote, a woman pummels opponent in 46 seconds, makes her cry. Now, I'm not one to say I told you so, but it doesn't take a rocket science to see that at some point in time, this was going to happen when you allow biological males to compete in women's sports. I mean, go back, go back as far as allowing Leah Thomas to compete against women in swimming. Couldn't cut it against the guys, but my golly, since I sucked against the guys, I'm going to say I'm a woman and compete against women and win everything in sight. Or how about this one? Hulking transgender athletes take gold, silver, and bronze spots on female podium at Women's Cycling Championship. Now, if I was these women, I would be just irate that they let three guys compete against us and beat us, especially for spots on the Olympic team. Or how about this? Female volleyball player 17 left paralyzed with brain damage by transgender opponent who cackled with delight after knocking her to the ground. That's right. They're allowing transgenders and women's volleyball again can't compete against the dudes so i'm going to compete against the women so here we go i already this i already said this title just a few moments ago in the video algeria ziman khalif the olympic boxer who was caught last year pretending to be a woman after a series of dna tests entered the ring for the first time today in paris and guess what happened the fight lasted 46 seconds. Khalif disposed of opening around opponent, the Italian Angela Carini, so quickly that if you blink, the fight was over. Just like that. Poof. Like it never happened. Carini took it upon herself to forfeit the match, the fight, after taking two shots to the head in the opening seconds. Who's surprised that this happened? Well, over on. Over on X, social media people are not happy. Um, these two people quoted the same thing. A man punching a woman in front of the world. Match lasted 45 seconds before she abandoned with a suspected broken nose. World is acting like the guy that hears the neighbor beating his wife and does nothing to help. This is just shameful at Olympics. A man hitting a woman in a boxing match at the Olympics that lasted only 45 seconds after she abandoned the match in the suspect of a broken nose. It's a shame if you think a trans can beat up a biological woman in a boxing match. Too sw tough to swallow the truth for at Olympics. Men don't belong in women's sports. The IOC has legitim legitimized male violence against women as entertainment. Get men out of women's sports. Hashtag I stand with Angela Carini, who should never have been made to enter a boxing ring with Iman Khalif. Gina Carano posted this, and Gina's been on fire lately, folks. This is just heartbreaking. Shame on the Olympics. None gusto. It's not fair, says Angela, breaking down in tears for something she worked so hard for. Her dream to compete on the Olympic stage shattered because it's not a fair competition. You are correct, Angela. Nun gusto. I stand with Angela Carini. Hold your head high, Angela. Riley Gaines. She posted hashtag title, title nine. How it started, how it's going. Uh, men don't belong in women's sports. Hashtag I stand with Angela Carini. Let's get this trending. Fire emoji. This photo should haunt the IOC. But it won't. Rini broke down in tears and explained in an interview that she had never been hit so hard before. 
And this is from uh, another post on social media. In fact, this is not that long ago. The International Boxing Association has released the following scathing statement regarding women's boxing. Number one, as stated, the International Boxing Association feels it inappropriate at this prevalent time to address recent media statements regarding those athletes, Lin Yung Ting and Iman Khalif, particularly regarding their participation in the Paris Olympic Games of 2024. On March 24, March 24, 2023, IBA disqualified athletes Li Yingting and Iman Kali from the IBA w Women's World Boxing Championships in New Delhi in 2023. They failed to meet the qualification standard for participating in women's boxing. They took DNA tests and they came back that they were guys. While the IBA remains committed to ensuring competitive fairness in all of our events, we express concern over the inconsistent application of eligibility criteria by other sporting organizations, including those overseeing the Olympic Games. Go figure. They urge people to seek clarification why the International Olympic Committee permits athletes with competitive advantages to compete in their events. Yeah, that's what I'd like to know, IOC. How, how could you allow two people that have taken DNA tests and they tested that they were males compete in women's sports, especially boxing when somebody could get hurt or even dare I say worse. So what do you guys think about this? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That helps get my channel promoted, helps get my videos promoted on YouTube, and I thank you all for your support. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.